Welcome everybody, I'm Alexander Linz, Head of Content of WatchAdvisor.com and with me is Willem Schmidt, the CEO of A Lange und Söhne and we are at the... Good morning. Good morning. 2019. 2019. <laughs> Good that you say 2019 because in an interview recently I said 2017 and I thought myself, oh my God, why, I, why do I... <laughs> <laughs> okay, 2019 SIHH, and in a good old tradition, uh, since you a uh, very long time uh, lived and worked in South Africa, and you got to, you, you, you discovered your love to a rooibos tea. It's, for me, it's a perfect drink throughout the day, because if we have great coffee here, and I enjoy one or two a day, but if I would drink the amount of coffee that I had with tea, I probably wouldn't sit here this like is this, I would sort of shake. Fantastic South African rooibos tea, <laughs> and uh, it's a tradition, yeah. I, I, Cheers. <laughs> we start with rubber tea. It's not alcohol. Huh? It might no, look like... No, definitely not. <laughs> mm. Delicious. It's good for the voice because we talk yes. too much. Willen, um, Alang and Söhne, I just quickly had a brief look at the novelties. I already got the breast kit, but yeah. I, I saw them now one life. And you might get the impression that you did nothing. Meaning that you see watches we have seen before. <laughs> it's, everything is under the hood this year. Yes, some is under the hood, some yeah. is a little bit more obviously, um, but, but I believe that great design um, is evolutionary and not revolutionary. Mm -hmm. So you cannot bring a revolution every year and still be known for something. You know, that's more fashion than what we do. Mm -hmm. um, you know, my, my big favor for cars, and, and I think what we're aiming for is rather the evolution of a 911 than of a model that comes out every seven years and has nothing in common with his predecessor. So if you look to this year's novelties, um, there is a theme that goes through the year. And it has to do with our history. It has to do with the fact that 25 years ago we launched our, our first uh, collection, um, you know, the, the, the four watches that, that yeah, the legendary you know four so, watch, yeah. so, so very well. Um, and. In today's world, where product life cycles become shorter and shorter and shorter, it's very difficult to find something like the Lange One, which, you know, is... I wouldn't sit here without that watch. That's how far I, I go. Um, I think it's one of the most iconic designs um, and, and certainly represents our, epitomizes our brand better than, than anything else. Um, and. For those that really know our brand, and I know that, Alexander, you're one of them, uh, you will appreciate that for the first time we not only mentioned Walter Lange, because on the case back, it's a hunter's case back, um, there's a hand engraved um, view of the Stammhaus, mm -hmm. um, but there are two names mentioned. The one is Walter Lange, and the other one is Günther Blümlein. Because these two genius, <coughs> You know, without them, I wouldn't sit here. Without them, the brand wouldn't be what it is. Our probably Glass Hütte wouldn't be what it is. Today. No, um, no. And, and that's I, re I remember the very first time when Günther Blümlein brought me to Glass Hütte, and I couldn't believe <laughs> that this would really once be. <laughs> If you look to old videos, yes, even uh, even I, incredible. you know, sometimes we, we, I look at it and yeah. I see how it looks today. We went there in a Trabant, that old, uh, old plastic car. Yes, and, and the roads weren't pa they were paved. How do you say a plaster? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I would, you know, uh, pebble bit, yeah, pebble stones. Uh, incredible. So. It was it was like an adventure journey to get there. And then he, he was telling me about his dream about making luxury watches, high end, uh, going uh, towards the big ones of the industry, and say, okay. I get them, and he was so focused on it. It's incredible. Yeah. It's. I never had the chance to meet him in person because he passed away before or before I took early, over. Much too early, much too early, of course. Um, but but I, I honor him for what he did for the yeah, brand. Yeah. You know, many things we use today, they really, if, if you, you know, boil it down to the essence, were created by him, mm -hmm. and that's why for the very first time we we take the two to uh, commemorate that very special. Uh, 25th anniversary. Mm -hmm. um, there are many details, you know, Lange is all about details, not about making it bland. The, uh, the height hasn't changed because even it's a half hunter's case, it's integrated, so it's, it's, it's perfectly in it. Um, it's the color blue that we play with here. Um, You're talking about half hunter case, I'm just yes. showing it okay, yes. so you can open it. It's the best out of both worlds. So you have the space to to engrave yeah and but to show the beauty absolutely and that's all about what would a lange and söhne be without being able once being able to see the movement you're absolutely right yeah. 
When, yeah, when, when the first time uh, Günther Blümlein showed me his datograph, and yeah. this was still uh, when you were not in, in, in Geneva, but still at the uh, Basel World, yes. exhibiting in a yes. little booth, first integrated at IWC Schaffhausen, and then a little booth, and uh, uh, he, he turned the watch around and said, can I wear it like this? Yeah. <laughs> It was, believe you me, I've heard that request quite often. Yeah. Um, could you could you change the lugs uh, in a way that we can wear the watch the other way around? But, but to some extent, Alexander, that's always that's the one thing why people buy us because yeah. we have these. I call it the two souls of our uh, watches. You have the understated, high quality, um, very legible, very functional. Uh, design of the case and the dial and you turn it around and you have the opulence uh, which is definitely not an engineering approach of, of the movement so you really have two worlds best out of two worlds and it's up to you to share or to keep it for yourself so yes. it's not obviously it's not yeah. into your face yeah let me quickly uh, talk about the watch you have on the wrist yes <laughs> yeah <laughs> because with pleasure uh, a watch when you re-see it because it's not the novelty, you see the watch again and you think, oh, what's the novelty here? Well, yeah, definitely, there is a lot more even on... Uh, so we are talking about the Zeitwerk. It's a Zeitwerk date. I, I quickly show it into the camera also, giving uh, our camera and Christian the opportunity to quickly film it. So you see the watch. When you see the watch, Lange Zeitwerk, you think, oh, strange, huh? They, are, they, they have no more ideas at Lange <laughs> But uh, Timo Bobe... Uh, just uh, he is uh, yes. your um, head of uh, product, product, production, production. Uh, Tony, yeah. Tony De Haas, is Tony De Haas, and, and uh, yes. Timo, Timo Bobe just explained in the watch and it, the, the technology behind is amazing. You reconceive the entire movement. It literally is a different, a totally different movement. Okay. Um, <clears throat> now it starts. I, in in my normal life, um, I do need a date. Mm. I, I know it's strange, but. Yeah. If I do my uh, the signing of things, and yeah. I don't know how often I look to the same day, yeah. maybe it's H, um, I look to my wrist just to see the date. And so I always the liked the Zeitwerk, but I never, you know, that was that was for me a downfall on it. Um, so to, to get the date in it, that's the most obvious change uh, um, from an from optical point of view, because it really changes the view of uh, uh, the dial, but the thing that goes in it, that's really, the, it's, it's doubling the power reserve, 36 to 72 hours, making it thinner, so that watch is thinner than the original one, um, and uh, we all know it takes a lot of power to make all this, this jumping, yes. and everything is jumping here, you know, the date. Uh, and synchronized jumping. And synchronized jumping. So instantaneously. We will, we will just, in case you see this video and you don't have seen the product video that we are going to make tomorrow, please be sure to see also the product video where we will have exactly this yes. scene uh, when everything jumps in the same moment live. So if you don't see it here, don't worry, just have a look at the other video. I just wanted to mention that. And the Lange Zeitwerk, for those who don't know, is the watch uh, where the time is indicated in a digital way. Yes. There's still no battery in here, so we are still <laughs> in a mechanical world. There's a little round thing here. Someone could think it's a battery, no, but it's it's, it's, it's a, a mechanical battery because it's, it's a mechan the, the two barrels, main barrel of two barrels. Yes, yeah. But it's uh, the the watch from Lange and Zöne indicating the time in a digital way, and uh, yeah, a gorgeous timepiece. So thank you. Sorry for for no no no. We, thank you. That's have you? Uh, 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 did you miss anything? No. You said it's, it's instant, in, instantaneously jumping. jumping uh, you can go forward and backward without uh, doing any harm to the movement. And um, for the first time, you know, you can adjust the date very easy with yeah. the push button. Yeah. It goes and, and, and the hours with this one. So you can easily adjust yeah. time. It's quite convenient if you travel, you know, yeah. if you change time zone, a push button to just adjust the hour is not a bad thing. No, 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 because uh, the, the version before you had to pull out the crown and you had to turn Like it in up. every normal watch. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it just looks more uh, spectacular here because you move discs, but basically that's what you do with every hand as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gorgeous timepiece. Thank you. No, if come on. <laughs> I, I enjoy I enjoy yeah, wearing it. Put it back it, on your wrist. Uh, be make sure that it, it absolutely. It's, it's, Otherwise, it's, you take it away from me, which I would hate. <laughs> ah, uh, someone of your of your team uh, would probably. Ask Everybody you. wants to steal it. No, of no. course. Uh, uh, William, um, 
how uh, how would you say uh, is the international Alangion Zone community doing in sense of uh, are you uh, decreasing still your outlets because you were uh, we getting still decreasing you're, yes. you're still yeah. trying to it's and, quality and, first for me okay. you know, a decrease in itself is not uh, a target but we analyze every point of sale and uh, we analyze you know what is the potential uh, what sort of customers go there how is our visibility how is the training level of the people that will introduce our yeah. watches to either customers or, so, or okay. prospects um, and we'll work together with our partner on all four elements but, but also if we identify there is either no potential or no willingness um, I'm, I'm very happy to say then let's try it different um, yeah. so and, that, and that's, still a, that's still a work in progress and we'll never stop from yeah. Yeah. And uh, the, 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 the level in between uh, own boutiques and, and retail network is uh, 30, 70, 80, 20? Or it's, it's st you know, we still have about 13, 14 own boutiques. Mm -hmm. um, uh, luckily, I'm sure you've heard that Wempy is opening, has opened for us a boutique in London. Mm -hmm. uh, Pendulum Sincere has opened a boutique for us in, in Bangkok. Mm -hmm. um, so th that's something which we more and more see. Uh, I think you know, our little maison has now reached a level that in, in major city, a standalone um, point of sale doesn't I, I make think, sense. I think it, with the complexity of what you're doing, I think it it's makes just, sense. Yeah, because it, there's a lot of training that goes in yeah. it. And, and if, if I had to manage three, four, five different brands and, and then had to deal with the complexity of our watches, um, knowing that customers that are after our watches are interested in that. So it's not only that we think it's important, it's the customer who wants to talk yeah. watches. Yeah, I think so. so. What happens if you want to invest a lot of your hard-earned money into one of these little marvels and then you find an incompetent salesperson? Um, that's probably not the brand experience no. you, 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 you want to see if you spend uh, honestly it. speaking if you're really into a Lange, if you're really into buying an Alange on Zöne and the guy wanting to sell the watch you is incompetent you probably go and go somewhere else and buy still buy it that's that's, that's, that's an advantage but, for but you. that's what I'm saying you know and, and, and that's what we emphasize <laughs> but it's not with other, it's not with every brand you have the advantage of being in that position you say that I, I, I'd rather I'd rather keep my finger on uh, pushing uh, all the, the sales agents agents uh, yeah. to know what they talk about again because it's not because we want that it's because yeah. our customers yes desire that yeah, yeah that yeah. makes them happy yeah and, and we're here to make customers happy yeah um, and I think that is a lot easier if you only focus on, 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 yeah. on, on one brand and a handful of watches. Um, that's what it. That's what yeah. it should be. In terms of uh, a quantity and uh, expanding your, your production, you are limited still on on the. People are asking to ask those CEOs these questions. I'm doing it. Yeah, yeah. they are. It's, it's very easy if if you produce the way we produce. Um, there's a natural limit because yeah. you need finishers, engraver, watchmaker, toolmaker. Um, so if you just want to ramp up production, um, you will hit the seal yeah. very, the ceiling very, very quickly because it doesn't go further. So it will still be quite uh, tricky to get one, one, one of your special pieces uh, if you are looking for one. Yeah. Specifically, the limited edition. The limited edition. We all know how it is. Uh, you better be on the on the list early, yeah. or you will only see it in the video. In a video, yeah, <laughs> with William Schmidt, and he, you, can you, did you see he's, he's hiding the watch? No, no, you, you covered it with your shirt so that nobody sees. Now, always, you know, we not like the, <laughs> that's not really the, uh, the Langen, Langen mm, Söhne way. Mm, mm. Willem, thank you very much. Thank you, Alexander. Always a pleasure to um, be with you. Um, it's a good start for the SIH. Thank you. Uh, the Roy tea is, uh, is, is, is delicious. We are prepared My for the My voice is come. good. It, Wonderful. It, uh, so, uh, William, thank you very much once again. Uh, all, and I really, uh, I, I got goosebumps when I saw the watch with the name thank Günther Blümlein on it. Uh, I know it means a lot for the diehard aficionados uh, that really know our brand. Yes, now Günther Blümlein is uh, someone who has to be honored much more. We'll do our best to start yeah. with it. We all, we all knew Walter Lange. He was. So, because he was with us until last year, so that's yeah. The but but Günther Blümlein was a little bit put by side, and now I think it's it's fantastic. And and if you have 25 years, and yeah, that's the way to celebrate it. 
Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Guys, thank you for watching. If you like what we are doing, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to like our videos, of course. And don't forget to write your comments just underneath, da -da -da -da. and excuse me if I'm not answering too quickly because I'm at the SHH, <laughs> hardly working with these CEOs <laughs> and all the others, but I will thank answer. You. Anyway, I will answer. And don't forget to see the other Alang and Zöne video that will be taped tomorrow with all the details. Perfect. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you.